The phone, the phone, the phone, ring, ring, ring. That's not possible. It's indefensible. My tiny brain can't perceive such a thing. That's his latest zero IQ desperation take. Wow, the mean vibes are real strong in this one. A phone can't possibly make sense with the Sinnoh lore. Extremely mentally ill individuals like Publicify prove that having a black and white mentality is nothing more than unintelligent and naive. You can only perceive with your tiny brain things that you understand from your existence and things that you were told, which means you don't go out and do your own research or apply any ounce of critical thinking or any other cognitive capabilities for that matter. So good job thinking for yourself, Publicify, and laying on that rich irony of you insulting others with the same line when they make the mistake of trying to reason with such an obtuse fool like yourself. So if a cell phone is so far-fetched back in Sinnoh's ancient times, then someone who thinks like Publicify must think that printers of today are the only ones that have ever existed instead of stuff like this. Never mind humanity having to start somewhere. And what is Intel up to, by the way, when it comes to their processor? An 11th gen Core i7? Nah, something like this couldn't possibly exist as a humble beginning for Intel. If he sees something ancient like this, he'll make another zero IQ shit post because his power bill is due. Oh, fuck you, you paleolithic people. Someone like Publicify doesn't comprehend anything beyond modern day hatchets, so he couldn't possibly comprehend what these are. Ooh, look, they're cutely designed rocks that you can find all over the planet. Humans totally didn't turn their brains on and figure out how to turn these things into a weapon should we feel the need to chop down a tree or two. And I'm not talking about the ones in Sword and Shield. What? What is a Clovis point? If it's not Ryobi or Husky, I don't want to hear any of it. Calm down, Junior. I'm guessing you don't comprehend the idea that went into the wheel as well. Try to combine your extremely unintelligent and illogical narrative of how modern day technology can exist in a video game. Add to that the fact that we're talking about Pokemon and video games for that matter. We're talking about the same game that has nearly 1,000 creatures that only exist on a fucking screen. We're talking about the same franchise that employs a child to take down criminal organizations, eco-terrorists, god Pokemon, and a host of various other Pokemon that could kill you if they actually existed, like a Magcargo with its 18,000 degree body temperature alone. If we are to take Pokemon this fucking seriously, then no one logically can possibly own a Pokemon like Magcargo without instantly being vaporized by it. I guess chocobos exist too. People still haven't figured out what the fuck this is. It's been deemed a 2,800 year old Nokia. This device was found in an Austrian town that I'm not going to bother pronouncing and it looks like an ancient cell phone with implications of cuneiform writing. And according to this article, it claims that it's a clay copy of a mobile phone with a Sumerian writing style known as cuneiform on the keys. I mean, I've never seen images like this on any phone, so no arguments here. That tablet is allegedly from the 13th century. By the way, BCE stands for Before Common Era. And the cuneiform writing style has already been around a few thousand years at that time. And look at this. The cuneiform tablets aren't unusual and estimated 2 million have been excavated. So if this thing contains a writing style that predates it and around 2 million objects with this writing style have already been excavated. Is a cell phone in Sinnoh's past really that far-fetched? See what I did there? So he continues to make no logical sense whatsoever, big surprise there, because all he does is stick with this one thing to bitch and moan about through an entire shit post, and it's just him regurgitating his contrarian Pokemon Legends Arceus will fail narrative for those desperate clicks he's still scraping for. So why can't a steam-powered Pokeball exist in the same time frame? You want to know what's more telling than him giving a shit about logic only because it's Pokemon Legends Arceus? Oh, big surprise, it's nothing more than bias that he's still regurgitating over Pokemon Legends Arceus because the Pokemon community that he has such a hate boner for is loving the game more and more. Well, of 
according to the same guy that praises everything about Sword and Shield, including its story and the trees because they're supposed to be better than the Breath of the Wild trees from some E3 demo he used as some kind of supporting evidence for that narrative. He claimed that Pokemon has been competitive over story for a decade now. Pokemon is a competitive game more than anything else and Pokemon is primarily player versus player. Oh, I can't forget this one right here. The story is less than 5% of the game in a Pokemon game. Now all of a sudden he cares about the lore. When the same nonsensical child with serious mental issues sits up here and arbitrarily decides when something does and doesn't matter to fit his already stupid ass narratives, that says everything you need to know about that fraud. Also, this is the same fraud that claims he's always right because the most fraudulent people in existence totally don't whine that line or something similar. So that's his latest and greatest um, defense for why people can't defend Pokemon Legends Arceus being a dumpster fire. He can't even apply an ounce of logic to any of the stupid shit he has said and regurgitated time and again. That's why his arguments are always one if not zero dimensional because he doesn't have faith in the nonsense that he knows he's spewing. So just wait until the game releases, think for yourselves, and laugh at the meme that he constantly shit posts. He pretends that Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is somehow taking more risks than Pokemon Legends Arceus is when the most that has been shown is of them recreating what is ultimately a one-to-one -one experience with the games or should I say game while modernizing and attaching additional functionality on features not to mention returning features while he's going through reruns of his episodic meltdown over Pokemon Legends Arceus for clout if he really wants to make himself more laughable he should pretend that Sword and Shield story is somehow better or or is going to be better given the entirety of his absolutely illogical and obtuse reasoning he has only regurgitated about the damn game. So for any of you that are worried, think about the logic, the lack thereof of course, that he has poured into shitting on this game solely to pay a few bills he's behind on. He makes no fucking sense whatsoever and the only way to look at all of his shit posts on Pokemon Legends Arceus is as a meme. He's nothing more than a narcissistic, insecure, and self-righteous asshole seeking validation. He'll never get it, which is exactly why his self-esteem shots base of operations is the echo chamber that he lives in, solely comprised of publicify simps. The lore didn't matter before, but now it does. Pokemon was all about competitive battling, but now it isn't, says the same brainlet who shitted on the game so bad, simply because he's too stupid to realize that he is the only one trying so hard to defend the game by convincing himself and his simps that it's every awful and removes from high IQ thing that he claims claims it is instead. Yeah, Publicify, no one needs to defend the game. You're nothing and no one to answer to and prove anything to. But much more importantly than that child, you are the only one trying so hard to hate the game.